Every year, three priest buddies and I go on an annual ski trip, and those long drives make for some great conversation. And last year, as we were coming back from our ski trip, we got on the conversation of breakup songs and what makes for a great breakup song. And it kind of sounds funny, but it lasted most of our drive back, discussing and debating what makes a good breakup song. And there's an element to a breakup song that it comes from a great place of hurt and anguish, and, but also there's an element to a breakup song of, of new possibilities. Even though it's a painful place of a letting go in order to embrace something new and different. Well, I think a lot of times creativeness or art comes about from a place of hurt and struggle. There are some heroic stories of artists who had very difficult personal lives who made some of the world's most beautiful art. And we have something similar going on in our first reading today with the story of Azariah. He and his companions, uh, and uh, Ananias and Hananiah, Azariah, and Mishael, those three, also known as Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, are living in a time of tremendous persecution for the Jewish people. They are enslaved in Babylon, and as part of that, uh, they are thrown in to be killed, sentenced to be killed by being thrown into a red-hot furnace. And as the story goes, as they are thrown into the furnace, they are protected, they are saved, and someone appears like a son of man, prefiguring Jesus, uh, that saves them and dances with them in the midst of the fire and the struggle that they experience. So in our first reading, we hear Azariah giving this poem about, in praise of God, this beautiful prayer. Now, whether he said it in the moment or whether it was kind of put into his mouth later on, doesn't really matter. But we see this beautiful mixture of both uh, Psalms, and of David mixed with the promises of the Old Testament. This beautiful poem that comes about through this time of tremendous pain. And this poem will be passed on from century to century and will take on a new meaning and a new beauty uh, when the people are again persecuted and they experience persecution. And actually, I believe it will be written down when they're in Babylon under, in time of persecution. It will take on a new meaning. Those who are experiencing that same hurt can identify with Azariah. Much like when we hear a bad breakup song, we can identify with aspects of it. So too, as we approach the one year anniversary of COVID, which is just about eight days away, we might, it's an opportunity for us to reflect on what has been lost, the hurt and the pain that have happened, but more importantly, the creative things that have come out about as a result the ways in which we have adapted for the better. Now, there are lots of ways that we've adapted as a parish. This YouTube channel you're watching is a fruit of that, or the worship aids that we've made, or daily adoration that have come about as a, as a fruit of this. But also, we've become much more acquainted with Zoom meetings and FaceTiming our families. I know lots of families who have now a standing uh, Zoom time where they communicate in ways that they hadn't before, or more often than they had before. I heard also as when the quarantine started that sales of classic books had skyrocketed and people were tr trying on new hobbies. People were trying new things and doing new things uh, out of this great sense of pain and loss. So today as you face challenges, maybe we can look to the cross as this great creative act and not to get discouraged or disheartened, but when we're tempted to break down, instead to allow Christ's love to break through in us today and bring about something new.